Hi, I'm Greg Bike with Never Dull Moment. And as you can see, we just got finished shooting one of the many episodes that we shoot here at Never Dull Moment Kitchen Stadium, in this case. Uh, we just did a whetstone war, sharpening some knives, and it's been something on my mind for a while to, to share with you, and it is a sharpening tip. Um, so you'll see the title of this video is 50-50 uh, Bevel, Are You Sure? And that's because all of us have a habit that we don't really know that we're doing. Some of us need to be a little bit more conscious of it. So if you've been watching us for the last year and a half, I mean, wow, it's really flying. We're a year and three quarters already. Then you know that when I sharpen the knives, I'm right-handed. So one of the things that happens for a right-handed or left-handed knife sharpener depends is we have a favorite side that we start on. So if I were to show you on this stone, my favorite side would be I would have the stone, the knife in my right hand and I would sharpen the right hand side of the knife first. So if the knife has been dulled through natural occurring, you know, chopping food, cutting boards, um, cutting something tough or even putting it on the stone intentionally. Once we have that, we would start grinding one side of the knife until we got a burr. And typically the very first time that we do this, it, it takes a while to get the edge. We're probably not counting strokes. We're just looking for a burr. Once a burr has been achieved, we flip it over. Typically, we go to our weak side, the side that we're not as confident in. And if you're like myself, you're able to flip it to the other hand. Some of you use the same hand. But in the end, what's happening is, is that you are sharpening the other side and you're probably not giving it the same amount of strokes. And you're doing it until you feel a burr. And when you do so and you feel the burr, a lot of times what's happened is, is the burr has flipped over. So when you think about that, you actually haven't removed as much metal on your weak side as you did on your strong side, your more comfortable side. And if you do that continuously, every single time you sharpen your knife, you're really taking it out of the 50-50 bevel and removing more metal from one side. So I wanted to share with you tonight the different solutions that I have for this. First of all, something that would make sense for you when you're doing your own knives. If you can remember how to do this or mark it down or whatever, just try sharpening the knives with the opposite side first. If you start with your left side when it's dull, you're gonna do a certain amount of strokes to grind on that side. And then when you flip it over and you flip the burr over, you're gonna sharpen less on the other. But remember, you already did the heavy grind on the right side first. So if you have the ability in a sharpening session, sorry, it's late, we filmed a lot of episodes today. If you have the ability when the, um, in the sharpening sessions to remember which way you did it last, if you could flip every single time, then that would be great. And then uh, you would be able to even it out. But another way would be to count strokes. If you do the other side and you counted the amount of strokes you've done on the right side, whichever side you did first, if you count the other strokes, even though you flip the burr, so to speak, you can make sure that you're grinding the same amount of metal off. Okay, and that'd be a great way to make sure you have the same 50-50 burr. And then the last way that I want to share with you, it's a little bit more tedious, is that once you're done sharpening one side and get the burr, take the time and remove the burr from that side. If you don't have the burr hanging over, then when you go to your opposite side, you're going to create a brand new burr that didn't get flipped over. And then by doing so, you know you've ground the other side the same as you did the first one. Unfortunately, it does take a while to do that. And as you go to the next stone and so on, you're constantly removing the burr. Now, it does take a lot more time to do that. But if you're not able to count your strokes or you're not able to remember what you did last time, it is a way for you to get it done. So that was my sharpening tip today. If you really want to make sure that you've sharpened your knives 50-50, I've given you something to think about that every time you sharpen your knife, you probably already start on the same side and maybe your knives are getting a little worn or it maybe even is time possibly for thinning. I know these knives are ready to see it. They've been with us for quite a while. So I appreciate you guys checking in. I hope that sharpening tip was a little bit helpful for you. Hopefully it was also not a dull moment. As always, thank you for your support. God bless you for checking in on Friday nights at eight. Hopefully we'll see you again soon or next week. We're out.